Hello and welcome to today's tips and tricks. My name is Rick Kramer and I'm here to show you a exercise or a trick how to apply different stamps to different sets of sheets. This goes out to a customer by the name of Jesse and his request was he wanted to apply a stamp on a part of the drawing, let's say sheets one through five on this set of sample documents, and then on sheets six through 11, a different stamp over here. The idea behind it is that there are two different individuals in that company that need to apply their stamp on a set of sheets. In this exercise, I've gone through already and created a custom stamp that I want to apply on the left-hand side, and then a different stamp for different sheets on the other side. So without further ado, let me go through and show you how easy this is to do. First, we need to go through and go to the drop-down menu of Batch, and we're going to apply a Batch Sign and Seal. Now, by the way, this is only available on Bluebeam Extreme. We're going to select Sign and Seal, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Yes. I hadn't saved this yet. And next, I want to apply a stamp, in this case, to certain pages. I'm going to identify those pages here by going to Custom Range. Over here, I'm simply going to go through one through six on this set of pages. And then I'm not going to use digital signatures or date, but I am going to apply what they call a seal. In this case, I've created a set of stamps, one called Real Seal. You can see this one right over here, and this Real Seal this stamp is going to be placed on this side over here on the left hand side and I only want it to apply on sheets one through six. So I'm going to go through here or one through five and I'll select OK. And now if I look on sheets one there's my stamp on the left hand side for that individual and number five and number six and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a different stamp for sheets 7 through 11. Again, I'm going to go to the batch command, select sign and seal, and pick my custom range of 7 through 11 and hit next. Over here, I'm going to select my other stamp, real seal 2. And what's really nice about this feature is you can take your stamp and actually move it where you need it to be. Maybe it's in a different location. Um, and so over here, I'm going to place it here on this particular sheet. Now, keep in mind for this to work properly, all of these sheets that are in succession that I'm about to apply this stamp all need to be uh, in the same place. If I have a different sheet size, well, then the stamp will not be placed uh, in the correct location. So over here, I'm going to place that stamp over here on the right-hand side. Select OK. And you'll see now on sheets 7, 8, 9, 10, we have the other stamp in the other location. And if I go all the way back to sheet 1, our stamp is over here on the left-hand side. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's quick session on how to apply stamps in different locations on a set of drawings. My name is Rick Kramer and I hope you enjoyed today's session and have a great day.